Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day two of the September Lico Day Challenge. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one as soon as it, uh, you know, finished loading and doing all the things that it probably should be doing. Uh, today, I am very tired, I'm not gonna lie. So, I might kind of rush through this one. Not, you know, within reason, rush through this one. Uh, I ran 15 miles just now and I am like. Uh, I'm just so beat up. I took a quick shower, ate some snacks, but that's about it. So I don't know. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at today's daily prom. Uh, also, as a minor update, I did okay in the last two contests. Um, you know, the the weekly and the bi-weekly. So yeah, pretty pretty uh, pretty good weekend uh, with respect to lead coding. We'll see how that goes today as things are still loading. Uh, yeah, let's take a look. 1894. Find the student that will replace the chalk. I mean, that is that is both so uh, specific and also useless. Man, okay, <laughs> I, I don't know. I I just, I I just find it a little funny. But maybe it's the running fifteen miles that is making me a little bit nutty. All right, let's go. Uh, there are n students in the class, numbered from zero to n minus one. The teacher will give each student a problem solving or starting with the student number zero, then the student one, the 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 n minus one. After that, da, 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 uh, we start the process. Okay. You're given a zero index integer weight chalk and an integer k. There are k pieces of chalk. When the student i is given a problem to solve, they'll use chalk sub i pieces of chalk to solve their problem. However, if the current chalk pieces is strictly less than chalk sub i, then the student sub i will be asked to replace the chalk. Okay. So yeah, so the first thing I was going to say is that, I mean, it looks like a very straightforward simulation problem, right? Um, but, you know, it almost is too straightforward, right? Uh, so it, one peek at the constraint, k is 10 to the 9. Um, if you just have, you know, and you, I always urge that you try to come up with a, um, you know, the worst case for your your uh, your, your algorithm, right? And... Um, and yeah, if we just do a simulation, what does that mean? Well, if one chalk is one uh, and k is 10 to the 9, then you're going to loop for a long time if you do one chalk at a time. So, okay, so what, what else are we doing here, right? Well, we know that um, we know that we can figure out, uh, I mean, these things go in a cycle, right, in a loop. So what happens? Well, what happens in one loop? Well, what happens in one loop is just the total number of chalk, right? And... Loops happen, it doesn't matter, be, or it, uh, it's not mattering the right way to phrase it. Uh, I, mean, I just mean like if you loop it once, then it basically it reset into a new problem where k is minus the sum of the loop, right? And then you can get, kind of get the idea of repeat subtracting. And that's, you know, that's good enough also as well to kind of think about. But of course, if you do repeat um subtraction uh, it is faster of course as a simulation but it's still too slow right like if you you know you have k is 10 to the 9 if you have like four ones maybe it doesn't matter it's still going to take forever right it's four times faster still f four times faster than forever is still too slow well the other thing is that well um the number of cycles don't matter as well. It is just the leftovers from the cycle. So this is where you get the idea of using mod and, um, you know, because mod is just the remainder after dividing it by the to um, a number, right? So if you use the number, that means the number of cycles. Um, and then, yeah, um, we'll use mod, but you can also think of it another way, right? So here, a total is equal to chalk or like total for a cycle, right? Then the thing that you can think about is that cycles is equal to k uh, divided by total, um, right? Uh, and this is four cycles because uh, that's, this is why this is round down, right? And then now you can say, okay, four cycles times total is equal to the score. Um, this is the number of things that you care about um, for each loop, right? So here we can just subtract it. And then now you have k, k left, because now you just have to go one more loop, uh, one more, one more pass, which doesn't, which is probably not a full cycle. And then now you can do something like um, uh, for, what is it, for x, uh, I guess you have to do like, the, uh, uh, i, x in, in new, numerate chalk. Right. Uh, so if 
x is less than k or i don't know you write a number of ways right uh also i want to see if it's off by what's off by one situation okay so if, if k is zero zero then the next person right so here we get we go k is subtracted by x right if if k is less than zero then we return i otherwise i think that should always happen so i think we should yeah so i think we should be good here right uh and yeah apparently i did this four years ago uh or three years ago uh yeah um so i mean i know that i did this in a really weird way and this is intentional right um because i just want to show that like hey this is my thought process um if you really f you know i mean because this is how you think about cycles and full cycles is this and then you remove the full cycles because it doesn't matter if, for the result right um, another way that you can think about, and you know, uh, and this is with practice and all these things, is that now you know that well, the full cycles don't really matter. So then now it is just, you know, uh, you can mod it by the total, um, and that's it, right? Uh, and that that's you know mostly the same code, but but that basically because um, you know mod just gives you the uh, the thing after the remainder after dividing right so that's basically the idea how did I do last time yeah I mean I, I wouldn't hmm yeah I mean I think even if can this happen I mean this can happen but Oh, I guess if it's just zero, then the first index would just return negative, right? Okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, anyway, um, so what is the complexity here? This is going to be linear time. There's a sum here and a loop here, a constant space, right? Total, we, we use K, whatever. Uh, and yeah, that's all I have for this one. It's a quick one. It is a good... Um, I wouldn't say this is on interview level. This is probably too easy, honestly. But it is a good review of fundamentals. So definitely, I you know, hope you do this one very quickly and do it very fast. Uh, yeah, that's all I have for this one, though. That's all I have for today. I am going to pass out. So thanks for watching. Um, oh, one thing that I want to add. Um, I know that this is the end. So I don't know if anyone's watching this now anyway. So if you're watching this, uh, leave me in the comment about your hardest workout that you've had recently. Uh, and what I mean, what I was going to say is that, um, you know, you have to figure out uh, on training, you have to figure out, you have to focus on, or figure out your focus, right? And figure out what is the workout. Uh, um, yeah. And for, and I just kind of reminded me today because today I did a 15 mile workout, but the 15 mile is not the workout, right? Because I can do, you know, I could do a good amount of it in any given day. The workout is in the last two miles of the 15 mile run after running 15 miles today, eight miles yesterday, and eight, eight miles the day before. So my legs and everything, my body and my head, my soul, I feel so tired. But the workout is that extra, is everything else is just preparing myself for the last two miles where I was just like, I do not want to do this, I'm dying, <laughs> right? So figure out what your focus is, figure out what, how to kind of get that workout and yeah. And sometimes it's, it's not what you think, right? Like when, I think when I say like, Hey, it's 15 miles, you know, you're like, Oh, it's, you know, he, he's, he did a 15 mile run, but no, the, the workout is the last two miles. And, and, and the reason why I kind of bring it up is because, um, if you don't know what the focus is, if you don't know what you're training for, and you, you might just be like, Oh, I, I did 13 miles today. That's almost good enough, right? Because, you know, 15, 13, you know, maybe I'll do 15 next time. It'll be okay. No, no, no. 15 is the workout. The last two miles is the workout. That's your focus. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, my point is just, you know, figuring out what you want, figuring out the focus and and train yourself to it. Uh, so, yeah. Um, maybe maybe today I'm too tired to kind of explain that in a better way, so my apologies. But that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.